Well, hey there, my name is Robert and this is your word for the day. Thanks for tuning in. You know, we are deep into this series of uh, Proverbs. We're actually uh, almost done with the book of Proverbs. We've gone through this for the last several weeks and it's just been fun for the last couple months to, to be able to share with you guys uh, just some, some tidbits from scripture. And I have something from Proverbs chapter 21 that I wanna share with you. Uh, verse 20 says this, it says, precious treasure and oil are in a wise man's dwelling but a foolish man devours it all. What's that telling us? It says that a wise person has savings, a foolish person spends everything they have. Now, this is a hard lesson for me to learn. I remember being a kid uh, and I was at a flea market with my parents and I found a $20 bill laying on the ground. Uh, and back then, that was a lot of money to me as a kid. 20 bucks was a ton. And the very next day, I had that $20 bill and I came up short because I didn't account for the tax. So I'm scrounging around for change and a little extra money because I was spending everything I had. Now, I'm naturally a spender. Uh, and as we look at personality traits, you'll find that some people are naturally spenders. Some people are naturally savers. But despite the personality wiring, scripture here and elsewhere tells us that wise people have savings. There's wisdom in prudence in having money for emergencies, for the future, for things you don't see coming. A foolish man spends all he has instead. So if you need help with this, let me encourage you in a few things. First, make a budget. There's no way to have savings if you don't have a plan for what your money is going to do. And with that, if you need help, um, Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University has been an incredible resource. It's changed my family's financial situation. And uh, back in January, we took our whole church through this. And maybe you're a part of it. Maybe you're still working the baby steps. I got a text from my friend uh, just yesterday. They're still working the baby steps. They sold off a car they owed money on. And he says, we're down $20,000 uh, since January working Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Keep working it if you're in that process. But if you're not and you need help, go look up Financial Peace University. You can work through it at home right now. Uh, hopefully when things get more back to normal, we can offer another class this fall to be a resource to you. But this is a great way to figure out how do you have a plan? How do you pay off debt? How do you save money for the future? Because we've all been in that place where life happens and we don't have the funds or the resources to solve the problems, to take advantage of the opportunities because we've devoured everything we have. I hope that your house, as you move forward, is filled with precious treasure and stores of oil and that you don't devour everything you have. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.